Our group is Jason Schrader, which is me, Nick Narzinski, and Flaubert Avkapu, and our device that we designed was an assistive car handle for the elderly and injured. The problem that we wished to solve was that most elderly, when they, as they grow older, they suffer from mobility and strength loss. As a result, this can make it difficult for them to stand and get out of cars, especially if they're low to the ground. Another group of people who struggle to get out of cars are people who have been in an injury or an accident and, or people who are just post-surgery for their knees, hips, and other lower body problems. As a result of this, they struggle to get out of cars and it can lead to further problems such as slipping and falling, which can result in even worse problems such as breaking hips um, and other injuries related to that. In order to solve this problem, we designed a device that would fit into the metal latch loop on the car door jam and it would lock in and allow for a push off point for people to stand and get up out of cars. The device has an ergonomic feature with the curved handle so it would fit easily in their hand and be comfortable as a push off point and it also latches into the car door loop to provide sturdy support. Our initial prototype we printed on a 3D printer using PLA plastic and it it was 20% infill. This device costs around $3 to produce, and which is a pretty low price for initial prototype. Another feature of this handle is that after the user stands up, they're able to just simply lift the handle and it easily unlocks and slides out of the metal latch on the door jam. So with our initial design, the shaft was a bit too big to properly fit into the door latch, but overall was satisfied with how the part came out. Um, it was nice and proportional. The uh, handle was big enough to get a nice grip and long enough to get good leverage for standing up. Um, overall, was strong enough to support the body weight of a small person, but as uh, weight uh, increases, I would say uh, definitely some more changes would be need, need to be made in order to ensure that it wouldn't break. So, the, like I said, the end that um, slides into the metal, uh, metal latch loop was again a little bit too big, making it difficult to slide in now easily. So to solve this, um, we reduced the size of the shaft to allow for more clearance, so and uh, decrease the length and width. Um, also, with doing this, uh, considered that it would make it a little bit easier to break, so I uh, ended up reducing the length of the shaft to allow more support and less chance that it would break while using it. So here you can see the final design. Uh, in that first picture, I rounded off some of the edges to be, you know, to allow for more comfort while holding. And also, it doesn't look like it, but uh, did thin out that shaft there and made it a little bit shorter and uh, made the base a little bit wider so that there's less chance that it would break off from the main part. And in the bottom two pictures, you can see how it's used. Uh, so, it simply just slides into that metal latch, and then you can use it just as a handle to get up or get into a car. So as Nick said, for a final design, we changed a little bit um, the, the dimensions of the shaft. So it was a little shorter and slimmer to make sure it fits on the door latch. We rounded off some of those edges so it's more comfortable and the customer is, is holding it. And we scaled down the initial design by around 20% to make sure that it fits in the door latch and reduces the amount of materials. The next steps, for a project to be to work on different sizes and then and instead of using PLA plastic, use metal parts with plastic handles to make sure that the device will be able to extend the force and maybe like and create different handle styles because the handles can be straight or looped and make sure that it's ergonomically comfortable and make sure like fits the hand of whoever is using it. And we also got to make sure that supports all the weight and it won't break when the customer is using it and maybe have a, a adjustable feature so the customer can adjust like depending on the high and length that they want. In conclusion, uh, getting in and out of cars can be a struggle for seniors because uh, our balance and coordination and strength starts to wear down as we get older and like people have uh, knee surgeries, hip surgeries, and it can reduce the strength and mobility. 
And some people are also a little ill, which can reduce the strength. But <clears throat> that those uh, those issues shouldn't be a problem to uh, to keep them from performing simple tasks such as getting Nina out of the car. With like a few adaptions and instruments like this can help elderly have a freedom and like just go about their daily lives without any issues and just give them freedom to do whatever they were doing like in the younger ages.